The new Mercedes GLC Coupe versus BMW X6 These cars both score highly with their eye-catching coupe-like looks. Not quite as menacing as the buffoon of an X6, the BMW X4 looks slightly more cultured, but the latest rear light design leaves onlookers either cold or hot. In contrast, the backside of the GLC Coupe looks decidedly more in proportion. Around the front, it's purely a matter of taste, depending on whether you prefer BMW or Mercedes-Benz's design language. Personally, I prefer the grille and headlamp design of the Mercedes. You can also read our review of the GLC 250 Coupe here. Engine and drivetrain both Germans are four-wheel driven, and their engine both measure 2.0 liters in displacement. As part of its recent facelift at the end of 2019, the GLC received a new generation engine at the base level, finally saying goodbye to the old 2.1 liter diesel. It is a fair bit more powerful than the old unit, raising its power output from 125 kilowatts to 143 kilowatts. This makes it marginally more potent than the BMW B47 engine's 140 kilowatts, which remained unchanged in its 2021 facelift. These two engines are evenly matched on torque at 400 newton meters. However, an on-road performance should be almost indistinguishable. According to the manufacturer's figures, the Mercedes, with its 9G Tronic transmission, beats the BMW X4, with its 8-speed Steptronic gearbox, to 100 km per hour sprint at 7.9 seconds versus the BMW's 8.0 seconds. Maximum speed, electronically governed, of course, is 217 and 213 km per hour, respectively. They're about equal in the refinement stakes, however, being fully encapsulated under their bonnets to keep the diesel racket down. According to the manufacturer's claimed consumption figures, both sacks are light sippers, with average diesel consumption on the combined cycle of around 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers. But if there's one thing we've learned, it's that these figures are just an estimate. You can easily add around 2 liters per 100 kilometers to the manufacturer's number, who measure fuel usage under ideal conditions, out in the real world. While BMW and Mercedes-Benz both claim that you'll be able to complete around 1,200 km on one tank, we reckon that you'll be able to squeeze around 950 to 1,000 km out of both the X4, with a 68-liter tank, and the GLC Coupe, with a 66-liter tank, if you drive decently. With these sacks being the shape that they are, Taller passengers sitting in the rear will surely feel that sloping roofline against the top, back of their heads. Consequently, the X4 and GLC Coupe are not really aimed at couples who still have their older children driving around with them. As for rear legroom, both cars offer sufficient amounts. The BMW has the slightly larger boot with 525 liters, but it's very close in size to the GLC Coupe's 500 liters. The interior of the facelifted X4 is kitted out with BMW's latest 12.3-inch iDrive infotainment system using BMW OS 7, with optional gesture control, touchscreen functionality and wireless charging, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's terrifically user-friendly, but the facelifted GLC's MBUX interface is also very easy to operate and has the same standard features, much more so than the pre-facelift model's command system ever managed. These two are about equal in this regard at the moment, with little to set either one apart in terms of functionality or user interface quality. The X4 and GLC Coupe have similar safety features, but the Benz has seven airbags with an option for nine, instead of the six airbags in the X4. Both cars have ABS, EBD, brake assist, hill start assist, traction and stability control, and optional lane departure warning. The current generation BMW X4 is equipped as standard with cruise control with braking function, as well as collision and pedestrian warning with city collision mitigation. 
The GLC has attention assist to alert you if the system thinks you are nodding off or in need of a break, and another useful feature in the GLC is collision prevention assist, the Mercedes-Benz version of BMW's city collision mitigation, which will first warn you and eventually slam on the brakes if it detects that a crash is